the President of the United States. He was walking into the very chamber where just a few weeks ago the President was impeached. Walking as well into a collision with his nemesis, the Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi. God bless you and God bless America. Thank you very much. The American family knows the pain when a loved one is diagnosed with a serious illness. Here tonight is a special man. Now, I don't tend to talk about American politics a lot. But why fuck this is funny. The Democrats in America are really having a bad week this week. And I thought I was having a bad week myself, but the Democrats, oh my god. Wow. And they actually tipped off today with Nancy Pelosi. Um, I think I'm saying your name right. I hope you, I hope I am. And she... I can't believe the actual... Um, Donald Trump gave out his, you know, State of the Union uh, speech. And I, I spent the good hour watching that speech. And I actually say, compared to last year, I still really enjoyed it. And the thing was, it was a massive fucking hilarious. It was really fun. It was really enjoyable to watch. And I actually felt a bit jealous of being British for a minute. And I was like, wow. I must be really proud to be an American if I was one. But Nancy Pelosi has to fucking do it. Funny enough, Donald Trump doesn't even shake her hand. Well, that would happen if you... You were the woman who was in charge of doing his impeachment, which did fuck out anyway, because he's still the president and he's still going to be running for the campaign of this year. So it failed, didn't it? Oh, the Democrats are so amazing. I mean, compared to what they did in Iowa, that is, that's just... Oh, my God. And, well, what Nancy Pelosi did the worst of all, was she shredded up the speech, State of the Union speech. And honestly, why the fuck did you do that? And her excuses are stupidly horrible. Nancy Pelosi unapologetic. What did you think of Trump's speech tonight? I tore it up. Adding that she did so because she couldn't find one page of truth. Like, she says... She, like, he lied, so I tore it up. It was like, he was a telling the truth, so I tore it up. You basically just tore the United States, so, didn't you? Because if you listen to the entire of his speech, his speech was really motivated. He's saying, this is a country of the people. The, the economy is going better. You know, things have gone better. Things have gained, you know. So things haven't certainly gone bad. The economy went up when he was in charge. And it was actually not all bad things. Yeah, the, but the only thing that happened was the Democrats getting angry at Donald Trump for being the president. And it looks like it's going to be doing for four more years. Because the Democrats don't seem to like Donald Trump very much. But even though some of them seem to be standing up and applauding his speech, although, you know, is the opposition, so what are you doing? And then they come down there, oh, we didn't actually support that, but you stood up and applaud his speech. And for the actual, the whole entire video, it was really motivating and moving. And like I said, I really felt like, wish I was an American. Because if I was an American, I'd be fucking proud of this speech. And there was that, like, two, three moments where Donald Trump was talking about um, I believe it was somebody, um, somebody's brother who died in the in conflict in outer blood, and then he was like, you know, feel sorry for the, you know, his brother being lost. I think it was, and he was like, veterans, um, talk about people that are earning more money. It's getting better. You know, people were like, it's getting better. The, they talked about the thing with, you no, know, there was that guy whose whose brother was killed by illegal immigrants. Because that, you know, the 
opposition thinks it's okay to have as much immigrants in this country in America as possible, despite there's so many wrong things with our comment alone. And then there was that great, great bit I felt, oh man, it was that bit where Donald Trump personally invited this woman and her two kids to be on his, beside his uh, Donald's wife, and then he was saying, well, KNS, your husband that's touring our, our blood, he's here tonight, and I was like, wow, that was something. The president asking one military wife and her two young children to attend as his guests. Her husband is on duty in Afghanistan. Then came the plot twist. I am thrilled to inform you that your husband is back from deployment. He is here with us tonight, and we couldn't keep him waiting any longer. Whatever you think of this president, it made for riveting television. And basically, after all that, what Nancy Pelosi does by shredding her paper is completely how the Democrats work. They don't want um, things to be better because Donald Trump has made the economy way better because people are now earning more money. They can get more estate. They can, those poor people aren't just staying poor. They're becoming better as low class to the middle class. So there is like less of the low class and yeah, we have a lot of prob they have a lot of problems with gun control and all that. But the thing is, they kept the argument strong because it's worth the fight. And it's worth what America stands for. It's a, what the American dream was built for and what was built on. Or oh, in some belief of I think that's it. Because I still believe in the American dream. And I wish I could go to America and become the American dream. And I wish I could do that here. Might still do it. I'm still young. But it's crazy to think about what this entire speech did and then Nancy Pelosi fucking lipping the piece of paper up you fucking dumb like as soon as she lipped the paper up I was like oh my god why the fuck she do that it's like three whole little things of booklets of lipping it up you basically just lipped the meaning of the United States of America which was basically what Donald Trump though in his entire speech was to keep you America United, yeah, there was a thing was we we get rid of socialism because that's against, you know, populism and, you know, what the Amer United States of America was built on. But it, the, the country has gone better though because I haven't heard anything bad about America. All I've heard about was shootings from random nutheads and then Donald Trump being evil because... What else are you going to moan about? <laughs> you know, it's crazy. And then when she lifts it up, she... The thing that she doesn't do, it says, oh, he tells lies. So you just lip up the piece of paper and don't give out any factual evidence towards this? Yeah, I bet the numbers were a little bit higher than they were expected to be. But that's not the actual point, is it? What the point is, is the fact you lipped up the massive State of the Union speech, which was for the United States of America to be behind Donald Trump on, and this is going to be used for his campaign now. Because it's like, well, oh, you saw how Lely acted to when I was trying to make the community come together. <laughs> you just don't want that to happen at all. Crazy. It is absolutely insane. And she's not even going to come back with factual evidence. And there's even... People like AOC that's going up against Donald Trump saying this is a bad speech. And the people are shitting on AOC and Plonsky for that exact thing they were doing going against Trump. Because I bet after the speech goes on, like, like after the speech, I bet after this, um, you know, after the, what do you call it? I bet after the, you know, the official numbers come out of how good the actual ratings were for um, this actual speech, I bet they're high. I bet they're higher than they were than the last one. And then the Democrats just dirty shit on their own pants, don't they? I mean, it's not nice to smell your own shite, but the smelling your own queefs, 
must be nice. So, what do I think about this? Well, Nancy Polonsky, you put more pressure on yourself, because that's what the entire media did to you. They actually looked at you. CNN even said Donald Trump looked statesman. That's a pretty good, powerful figurehead of the United States with a fake tan. Perfect. And, that, you know, even for CNN to go against Nancy, quite something, and support Trump, I think it's quite good. And I'm looking forward for Donald Trump to win this election. I think he will win in a landslide.